Hey everybody, this is Eric from LearnMax, and I have another tutorial, another step in our uh, subtractive synth. We're going to be adding the capability of varying the pulse width of our square waves. So uh, we're going to start off with this nice bass sound, which sounds nice on its own, um, but we're going to add this to it. Somebody had asked about uh, uh, modulating the pulse width in uh, one of my other tutorials, so we're going to go ahead and do that quick tutorial this evening. Okay, first we're going to make a little bit of room for our controller in our uh, presentation view. We're going to just slide our envelopes over and we're going to add a live dial. And let's see, we're going to move that up and out of the way. Let's take a look here at the inspector. I'm going to rename that to PW for pulse width or duty cycle you can call it, but PW, everyone likes that. And it's going to vary from zero to one. And let's, there we go, move that out of the way. And let's take a look inside. Okay, there's our PW. We have to have a way to pass that into our uh, oscillator message. So we're gonna change our Bondo 5 to a Bondo 6 for the extra parameter now. And we're gonna add that parameter to the pack. And remember it's a zero point, it's a floating point number. And we create a new inlet. We route the inlet through the bondo, the bondo to the pack, and good to go. Okay. Now we attach the two and get into our actual voice object. And here we have to unpack the uh, message. Well, first I have to unlock that. There, there we go. Um, okay, unpack that from the message our floating point number, and we're gonna go into the sub patchers for the two voices, and we're gonna copy another, well, yeah, here we go, uh, have another inlet, which goes to the duty cycle of the rectangle and the duty cycle of the triangle wave. And that basically, it uh, is the proportion between the positive and negative portions of the wave. So you can imagine, you know, you're creating this kind of, um, you know, more positive or more negative wave. You know, you're turning a, a square into a rectangle, basically. You know, it creates some some nice phasey uh, um, sounds to it. Just uh, really livens up a little bit. Okay, so now we have to route everything. Route here, route there. And we should be more or less good to go. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, uh, I've got to save this. Oops, save, and let's give a listen. Let's change that. You can hear it a little bit on our triangle wave there, but let's switch it to saw and you're really gonna, excuse me, square, you're really gonna hear it now. Okay. There, there's the sound I was going for. Let's turn off the uh, FM and you hear it better. There. And there you have it. Uh, now tweak your filters to your heart's content, get the color you want, and we're good to go. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one, and uh, we'll see you next time with another tutorial on Learn Max. Remember, rate and subscribe.